In this video, we are taking a look at the new MacBook Pro, which starts at $1,300 and features Apple's new M1 chip. You're getting great performance, incredible battery life, and a number of impressive upgrades. But with the MacBook Air also using the M1 chip and almost matching the Pro's performance for under $1,000, is the more expensive MacBook Pro worth it? In this video, we're going to go over key features, seeing who this product would be good for, how it compares to the competition, and whether it's actually worth your hard-earned money. So stay tuned. Okay, let's get into it. Are you a creative or do you work with heavier workflows? And maybe you thought you needed to get the 16-inch MacBook Pro to handle those processor-intensive apps, but the price tag was too high and the size was too big? Well, then you're going to love the new 13-inch MacBook Pro. The M1 chip is really a game changer. You're going to find it benefits the performance in just about every aspect. As a result, you'll get a similar performance from the 13-inch MacBook Pro as you would on the 16-inch MacBook Pro. And the Pro costs almost double the price for the base model. There will be some workflows that will perform better with the 16-inch. After all, it does support more RAM and a dedicated graphics card. But for most, you're going to find the 13-inch MacBook Pro to be a viable and extremely powerful solution. The design is essentially the same as the previous model. It's definitely a classic look, but it does seem a little dated now. The inside hasn't changed much either. You still get the touch bar, a thin touch screen running along the top of the keyboard. It shows context sensitive touch buttons and various shortcuts depending on the app or tool you're using. It's a pretty nifty idea adding more functionality than just having set function keys, but unfortunately not enough apps take advantage of this feature. The Magic Keyboard is great for typing. The travel is a bit shallow, but it's still clicky with a satisfying response. A large trackpad is great even with four finger gestures. There's ample room to swipe, plus you get force touch, which adds even greater functionality than just scrolling. The 13-inch Retina display with True Tone is also stunning. It's bright and vibrant with punchy colors. The color accuracy is excellent. This makes the MacBook Pro ideal for creatives requiring true-to-life colors for their work. The Pro supports the entire P3 color gamut. Now, although the 2560 by 1600 resolution is impressive, it does fall behind both HP and Dell. They both offer up higher resolution screens on their 13-inch laptops, which is disappointing. Another disappointing factor for a pro laptop is that the RAM tops out at only 16 gigabytes. That's the same as the new MacBook Air M1. The same goes for ports. For those working with external monitors and additional drives, the two Thunderbolt 3 inputs with USB-C connectivity just isn't enough. Unlike the MacBook Air's fanless design, the MacBook Pro does have a fan, but despite our best efforts to push the laptop, we seldom heard the fan running. It just stayed incredibly cool. Another great benefit of the M1 chip is the extended battery life. You can just grab the MacBook Pro and run off to a photo or video shoot. You can spend the day there editing, color correcting and rendering without ever worrying about running out of battery. With just web browsing or consuming media, you're going to get close to 20 hours. That's pretty incredible. For iPhone or iPad users, you'll love being able to run iPhone and iPad apps natively on the MacBook Pro. That's pretty cool. However, at the moment, not all iOS apps are optimized for Macs, and some developers of apps like Snapchat, Amazon Prime Video, and certain Google apps may opt out of having their iOS brought over to macOS. We still don't get 1080p on the webcam, but at least the 720p webcam with the M1 chip greatly improves the laptop's image processing. For those Zoom calls, your colleagues will see greater dynamic range, better contrast, and sharper video with less grain. The sound quality is excellent. You'll enjoy robust bass and surprisingly loud volume from its four full-range stereo speakers. So what's the verdict? Well, are you looking for a powerful workhorse? One for on-the-go high performance or for work from home use? Then the new MacBook Pro is ideal for creatives and professionals that work with processor-intensive workflows. It's also about half the price of the 16-inch MacBook Pro, but performs equally well in most cases. It's a more affordable alternative. But if we're talking value and performance for most people, we found that the new MacBook Air utilizing the very same M1 chip delivers just about the same performance as the 13-inch MacBook Pro, but the Air starts at under $1,000 which gives it a significantly bigger bang for the buck. Well, that's all for this video. We hope you guys liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a like. 
If you're new to the channel, we review tech in a simple, straightforward manner for the average person. So if you want tech reviews simplified, be sure to subscribe. Check out the description links for the most up-to-date pricing. Till next time, hope you all have a great day.